weekend is uh ufc on espn plus and as we've said before all these fight nights are going to be on espn plus for the rest of the year because of college football um this is from the eight back in the apex uh this is an afternoon show you know going into the evening so it's kind of you know we we've had the last few shows i think have been uh, evening shows but this one will start at four o'clock eastern and it is a card i mean it's a pretty good fight night card honestly main card's pretty good yeah like really good actually um like this five after what i said earlier you know is it five fight main card again yep. yeah so I, after i said earlier we usually get six or four it's, somebody's proven me wrong here it's five or six it's hard yeah over four no it's yeah yeah well it's usually six um but uh yeah we have a main event of honestly like i said there's probably well you could have gone with this or Marina Rodriguez and Michelle Watterson as the, you know, either one of those, this is a bigger fight, but Michelle Watterson's a bigger star. Um, and Marina Rodriguez is probably, yeah. a we've bigger, already seen, we've already seen that five for five rounds anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying it. I wanted it to be five rounds. I'm just saying like, you know, in terms of name value, uh, but uh, yeah, interesting fight in at lightweight between Rafael Fiziev and Mateus Gamrot, a couple top 10 uh, lightweights. Um, you know, they're, you know, just a step below all, you know, a loaded contender list, really. And and then you've always, you know, you've always got Connor there that can just step in, you know, step ahead of everybody when he wants to. But um, what, uh, how do you see this one going? Does he have in camera? I see it being a lot of, a lot of hitting the shit out of each other. You yeah. know, a lot of. A lot of leg lot kicks of, and a lot of body work. Yes. Yes. And I see it. I think it's going to go the distance and I think it's going to be an, an exciting, hellacious battle. And I mean, Fiziev is coming off, coming off the loss to Justin Gaethje, which was an absolutely incredible fight. He tends to have exciting fights. Gamero has won five of his last six. He tends to have exciting fights. I mean, this is a great matchup and a great main event. And, you know, it's another one of those fights where it's really a shame that's, headlining an apex card because if you put this fight in front of fans fans like like this past saturday it would get great reactions these are two these are two outstanding violent fighters it's it's a great matchup and or you know like if you if you if they were doing their shows in europe like this would be a perfect headliner for like a european fight night um you know and one of these guys like if you did it in one of their countries like it would be they'd be could be such a huge star yeah coming out of it um yep. all right uh do we want to you want to do your three fights to watch yeah 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 and then uh uh okay first off co-main event bryce mitchell danny Ige. uh Mit- mitchell and Ige, the two top featherweights both of them have have exciting fights uh Ige, probably more the one uh, one of the more underrated fighters at 145 five he's he has not leaped right into that upper echelon top five. Every time he's getting close, he uh, he has a setback. He has a setback. This is his chance to beat beat a highly ranked opponent. Bryce Mitchell, he's coming off his first loss, uh, fifteen and one now. It was submitted by Ilya Tapuria in his last fight. Uh, you know, great wrestler, great grappler. Bat shit crazy personality. <laughs> I don't know if anybody heard the story that he posted on social media this this past week. It is it is your typical Arkansas story. I'll put it to you that way. To put it to you that way. But uh yeah, that's a that's a great matchup. Uh almost another one I kind of wish was five rounds, but solid three rounder co main event. Very exciting fight. Another one on the main card, Ricardo Ramos against Charles Jordan. Jordan is always an exciting fight. I can't remember a bad Charles Jordan fight that I've ever seen. And Ricardo Ramos, uh, you know, he's he's hit or miss. When he's on, he's good. He can finish you in a minute. But when he's off, he can be finished. He's been finished by Syed Nurmagomedov and Lerone Murphy. He's also had weight issues in the past. Uh, but – if he comes, if both these guys are on and and it's switched on, that should be a fun fight. And then my third one is a welterweight fight: Tim Means against Andre Fialo. 
both these guys come to finish you. It's, I mean, Tim, me- Tim Means always is another guy. Like, this card is filled with guys who who bring it and tend to have exciting fights. He's another one. He's another one. You know, he's going to be kill or be killed in in there. In there. He's lost three in a row. Really in a must win for him. Uh, Andre Fialo, you know, 16 wins, 13 by knockout. But he's also been knocked out five times in his seven losses. He's also lost three in a row. All three – all, and he was finished in all three fights. So, I mean, it's a, this is do or die for both these guys. Yeah, absolutely. And there's a lot of uh, interesting fights that you didn't even bring up. Yeah. Um, you know, like uh, Jacob Malkoon and Cody Brundage, I think, is yeah. an interesting fight. <laughs> I don't. I, I didn't want to do that after Brundage's last showing that because that was yeah. piss, that was piss poor. Miles Johns and uh, Dan Margueta, Brian Battle and AJ Fletcher. Like these are fights I'm looking forward to, you know? So, um, and, and, you know, and, and then some names, you know, even Mizuki in, you know, one of the early prelims is always fun to watch. Um, the only undefeated fighter is a fighter making her UFC debut and should have been on this last week's card, honestly. Uh, Montserrat Rendon out of Mexico um, is uh, fighting uh, against. Uh, Tamirez Vidal in the uh, opener at bantamweight. So she's an undefeated fighter at five and zero. So yeah, somebody, if she can win, somebody to keep an eye on. But yeah, surprised they didn't put that on the uh, on the Mexican show. But they 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 originally had a lot more fights for that one, and a lot of, a lot of fights fell out. So yep. um, probably just how that worked out. Um, all right, uh, I guess you can run down the card, and then we'll do our um, our picks. And I do have three. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the entire card is on ESPN Plus. Prelims at four Eastern time, main card seven Eastern time. Kicks off with the women's bantamweight fight, Tamiris Vidal against Montserrat Rendon. And then a women's strawweight fight, Mizuki in a way, fighting for the first time in just over three years uh, against Hannah Goldie. Then we have a heavyweight fight, uh, Ultimate Fighter winner, Muhammad Usman against Jake Collier. In the middleweights, Jacob Malkoon against Cody Brundage. Welterweight fight, Tim Means against Andre Fialo. And then closing it out is a Bantamweight fight, Dan Argueta against Miles Johns. Then for the main card, kicks off with the featherweight fight I talked about, Ricardo Ramos against Charles Jordan. Then welterweight fight, Brian Battle against AJ Fletcher. Then a women's uh, strawweight fight, uh, Marina Rodriguez against Michelle Waterson Gomez, a rematch of their main event fight from just over two years ago that that uh, Rodriguez won by unanimous decision. That was a short notice fight, so, so this one – they both got full camps, so we'll see if there's. They they fought there. flyweight last time, didn't they? They did fight flyweight because yeah. it was a short notice. Yeah, short notice. Uh, yeah. So and then a uh, featherweight co-main event, Bryce Mitchell against Dan Ige, and then a lightweight main event, Rafael Fiziev against Matuz Gamero. All right. Um, we didn't talk about how we did last week. Um, I know I didn't do very well. Um, I think we went two and four. I think we two went three, three, three were right. We went three, three and three. three. You were zero oh and three, and I was three and. Three and oh. oh, okay. Okay. So if you went with all our bets, you probably did okay. I know I did okay. Um, but that that um Rosas Jr. winning by KO really helped me. Yeah. Um, so um yeah, you I, had uh yeah, you had yeah, Terrence Mitchell winning, which was missed yeah. there. You had Godinias and Reed over two and a half rounds, which didn't happen. Not quite. And then your parlay 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 was bad. Yeah, you only missed to see the vicious. Oh really? Oh, yeah, got, that was a close fight. You guys, yeah, you got Zell Huber and Madalena. My yeah. bats were Rosas Jr. in the distance, which <laughs> that was yeah, that, that was, was an easy one. Then I had Kapilov by knockout. Yeah, and then Tracy Cortez by decision. So. Yeah, so those actually paid all paid really well. Yeah. So if you bet like you know if you bet all three, you definitely made money yeah. um, because they they all they all were over even money bets. So um, I have so for this week my parlay is Mohamed Usman over uh, our buddy Jake Collier, uh, Miles Johns uh, over Dam Argueta, and Marina Rodriguez against Michelle Watterson Gomez. So that's my three-fight parlay. Uh, I'm going with Andre Fialo uh, via KO over Tim Means as one of my props, and Brian Battle and AJ Fletcher to go under one and a half rounds. Under 1.5. Okay. How do you like those? Uh, yeah, we have one similar. Okay. 
I have a uh, Andre Fialo inside the distance. Okay. So and uh, I have Marina Rodriguez by decision. Okay. And uh, in the main event, Fizio and Gamero going over three and a half rounds. I actually had uh, both of those as as part of my po- you know, possibles. I also had um, Mitchell Ige going over two and a half, but I had to cut it down to ones I was more confident in. Yeah, same. same yeah. Uh, I think I think if you really want to go nuts, I think Rodriguez and Watterson Gomez is a pretty good bet to go the distance as yeah. well. And yeah. I think I think if you also want to go nuts, uh, maybe Jacob Alcoon inside the distance. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I also like uh, Jordan and Ramos to go over two and a half. I won't necessarily say uh, the distance because Jordan can get late finishes quite often. So. Uh, but I, that one is so close to call. Like I have no idea who's going to win that one. But yep. uh, that's going to be a great fight. You mentioned it, obviously, on your fights to watch. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, so take us through the uh, the whole card. We, we, we already did that. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. What am I saying? <laughs> so I was always paying attention, right? All right. So that is again uh, on ESPN Plus uh, Saturday afternoon at uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, three o'clock here in the only time zone that matters in the Central Zone. So you'll be. Done in time to watch. Uh, actually, this is going up against uh, Dion again, I think, because uh, I think their game is at 2.30 uh, in the afternoon this week against Oregon. Big game. That game is going to do huge numbers, man. <laughs> um, I, anything, I, anything with Colorado is going to do Yeah, yeah, but, but I mean, it's because it's the afternoon window, uh, I'd say like yeah. 12 and a half million. I think it's on network too. I think it's ABC, uh, but I'm, I'm not sure which network, but I think it is network, so... 